Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify, and today we are here on our third attempt. <laughs> We've got ourselves the Alchemist Glove, 58 power, 15 speed, the ability is to summon a cauldron, and if you see down there at the very bottom right here, you need the Containment Breach Badge. And if you also look at this amazing banner, by the way, this banner is absolutely amazing, we can see that in that background, there might be a certain someone that you might know, with that little poster back there. <laughs> Gravity, you killed this banner. This is amazing. Even without me being in the background, this was still S tier. The way that it's all formed and shaped, it looks so good. But adding me back there, oh my goodness, Gravity. That's off to you, my friend. <laughs> so the method to get this Alchemist Glove is you're gonna need to get at least 12 people. I know it's 12. I think it might be 10, but I know you need at least 12 people to be slapped and infected by your Plague Glove. And it has to be different people. It cannot be the same person. Shout out to this awesome group of people right here. We are in a VIP server. So we got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and about fifteen seconds later, I got the badge. Oh, so you could pick up ingredients across the ground here. Okay, so you click them and pick them up. Oh, there's all different types of ingredients. That's pretty sick. There's probably so many different combinations that you can make. I understand why this update was so late now. All right, so now that you've collected ingredients, you're getting ready to start brewing. So you're going to use your ability with the glove in hand and press E. That will drop down the cauldron. From there, you're going to click on the bottom left on whichever ingredient ingredient you would like to add. What you're going to do is once it's in your hand physically, you're going to click on that blue liquid or whatever liquid's in the center of the pot itself. You have to hit that liquid or it won't work. Paralyzing potion. Okay, so to make it, you must click the ladle, the little handle right here. That's what makes the potion itself. And then once you drink it, this is a paralyzing potion. So I imagine, yeah, I'll be paralyzed. And you could get a grog potion. You could get an explosion. There's a lot of different things that you can uh, find in these. So I think there's 16 different combinations that we can make for 16 different potions. There's like an infinite amount of combinations you make, but there's a full 16 potions that can be crafted, and as soon as I figure out what all of them are, I'll drop a video for all of you. Alright, Muzo said, try glowing mushroom, blue crystal, and red crystal. Ooh, what does this create? A confusing potion, huh? What the dog doing? What the dog doing? What the dog doing? We got the confusion. I am confusion. If you figured out a potion recipe, drop it in the comment section below. Let's see all the recipes that we can create from the comment section, but there's a couple other things in this. Whoa. The flash banner got an update, and look at that. Speed, pure speed. That's pretty cool. I like that. And for you console players that were upset that you couldn't get to the killer fish area, well, now they made it so that you can. All you're going to do is walk over here in spawn, right at the spawn here, where this server H sign is, jump past it, and right here you can see the killer fish. And if you click on this on console, you will be killer taken fish. to where you need to be. I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to not do the counters until I figure out all 16 combinations that can be made. Because right now, this is just a normal slapping glove that you really don't have to worry about. As long as you stay away from, you know, the big explosions of the pot, you're, you're pretty much good to go. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this. I hope that all of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you end up watching this. And I shall see you, not in the counters, but in the full guide for all recipes. Later!